And today is a special day for our campus and for our department. Uh, it is sort of a, a ternary collision, which is a rare event. We have, have three special things to celebrate. Uh, and we also have um, a name that has the, the number three in it. And namely, the, the big event really is the inauguration of a special cluster of scientists here in Lincoln, computational chemists under the Nebraska cluster for computational chemistry. And this is really an extraordinary uh, opportunity for the university to bring together expertise in the area of computational chemistry uh, like never before. Uh, and it's built around the core expertise of Professor Xiao Cheng Zheng and Professor Hui Li, uh, resident in the department, having established a strong basis in computational chemistry. When complemented with the arrival of Professor Joe Francisco as the Cordis Professor of Chemistry and as the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, and that, that happening is being formally commemorated today. Now that would not be possible without uh, the remarkable uh, leadership of Jean Cordis. Jean Cordis. Jean Cordes, in addition to being uh, one of the sort of native stars of the state of Nebraska, uh, who went out and established credentials in both academia and industry, in the pharmaceutical industry, and really blazed a trail in drug development, uh, he returned to the state of Nebraska, and he has returned for quite some time to chair our industrial advisory board, and, and he was conferred with an honorary degree from the University of Nebraska uh, a few years back and addressed all of the, uh, the graduates. Uh, well, Gene also endowed the Cordes Chair of Chemistry and uh, that enabled, along with the expertise in computational chemistry and the fine reputation of the university, us to uh, attract Joe Francisco to the university. Uh, let's give a great round of applause for Joe having come to the university. <laughs> And in order to especially commemorate this occasion, the third element is uh, we have now the NC3 lectureship, and this is the inaugural lectureship. And we're delighted to have among us uh, Prof Dumas Professor Mark Ratner from Northwestern University to deliver that inaugural uh, NC3 lecture. Let's give Professor Ratner. <laughs> Now, to, to formally inaugurate the NC3, I'd now like to bring to the podium our Vice Chancellor for Research and Economic Development, Dr. Prem Paul. Every opportunity I get to come to Hamilton Hall and to interact with my chemistry colleagues, I love it. I very much enjoy it. And uh, I enjoy it a lot more today than in 2001 when I first came. I think there's a really, chemistry department has a wonderful uh, uh, history um, of excellence. And uh, certainly since I've been uh, uh, at Nebraska, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the department has even gotten stronger. And so I want to say uh, congratulate, uh, I want to congratulate my colleagues, uh, faculty colleagues, students and uh, staff that who uh, are uh, and leaders uh, who really been responsible for not only building the the program f but for the vision for the future and uh, and, and delighted that uh, david is uh, 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 now the chair but the other uh, 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 chair that i've had the pleasure of working with have contributed significantly the other part is that it's not only um, the chemistry is recognized for excellence only locally, but I think the, uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, uh, visiting uh, NSF a number of times, and uh, my last visit was uh, probably the last few days of David uh, Berkowitz at NSF, and and I was, you know, it was wonderful to interact with the assistant directors and the others, and they told me the about the history of the department and, and the, the good things going on. So I think that, so I am not really surprised that the department and faculty are continuing to think about um, um, building on this wonderful heritage to further strengthen 
and be visionary and, and coming up with the, with the new ideas um, that is represented in uh, Nebraska cluster in computational uh, chemistry. I do want to uh, uh, say thank you to Dr. Gene Cordes. Uh, uh, I've had again the pleasure of interacting, I think a few meetings that I've had with Dr. Cordes. He grilled me you know, a lot. If I cared anything about chemistry, I don't know if you remember those conversations, uh, Gene, but I'm, I, I really want to say on behalf of the university and and uh, 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 that thank you for your leadership, thank you for challenging us, and thank you for your enormous investment uh, in chemistry uh, that uh, is really, a, it's a shows that the excellence that you believe in and the, the wonderful, productive, uh, uh, successful career that you have. So let me say thank you very much, Gene, for all that, that you've done. I've had the pleasure of uh, interacting with Dr. Ratner, and, and we're delighted and thrilled that you're here. And, and uh, it's even, uh, even a greater pleasure that you are coming from Big Ten, right next, to, next door. So, and they, they only have a wrong color of your end, but at least you have an end. So thank you very much for being, being here. I, I've seen uh, the, the number of different areas our faculties have excelled, and one of these areas is that, uh, as already mentioned, uh, Professor Zeng and others uh, from your department that, that really been at the cutting edge using the, the new tools uh, uh, to advance uh, 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 chemistry, but, but asking very important societal questions, and then how can we advance uh, them? The, the only negative part of that is that now we got even more users uh, of the technology to advance chemistry. The, the negative part is that it costs more. So, uh, you know, we were pretty excited about this uh, Holland computer because the, the university, university had made a lot of investments. Thank God we got uh, uh, Professor Joe Francisco. So when I met with him, I loved his vision. Then I found out what it's going to cost us. <laughs> so thanks to you, Joe. Uh, appreciate that uh, you know, we have faster chips. I won't say exactly how much it's going to cost us. But, but the, and then the kind of creating a really a community and creating a showcase. That's the part that I'm most excited about is that kind of bringing the community together and then building this uh, a space, the NC3 space, um, and then creating a vision. So uh, University of Nebraska-Lincoln, uh, as you know, is that in the last decade, you collectively, as an institution, we made a lot of progress in research and stature. Why that happened? I think that they say, uh, the reasons for that is talent. That's the most important part. Everything else is secondary. Talent is most important. And the, those talented people that were attracting both in chemistry and every place at the, at the university. The second part is that, you know, it's not only football field that needs a cutting edge tools and infrastructure and instrumentation. I think as a clearly in this particular case in computational chemistry, unless we have the fastest uh, machine, unless we are well connected, uh, uh, you know, we're not going to be at the cutting edge to address those the important. And the exciting part about the NC3 is that it's, uh, it's asking those questions, the big questions, and to address whether it's environmental sciences, whether it's a biomedical, and, and uh, eventually the, you know, the, it's going to improve the quality of, of for all of us. So that's the, and, and that's really what I believe in is that, uh, you know, the, we've got to have talent, we've got to have facilities, but then we've got to, we got to together, not just one person, Prem Paul, sitting in one corner and Joe sitting in another corner, you know, different disciplines, we got to come together and then uh, uh, work together and then asking those big questions. And the, the, this is really where the UNL in the last decade or so that we made a lot of progress is that we've got to come up with big ideas, big ideas. 
and then, then see how can we translate those big ideas into funding. You know, money is important only to address those, those problems. And, and the, you know, more and more as the budget gets tighter, those who have the big ideas, those who are collaborating, not just within your department, but across university and with other institutions where it makes sense, then go and let's beat up on the rest of the world and bring those centers in. So um, my challenge to the, the NC3 team is, I want to pat you on the back for all the great work you've done. I'm very proud of you, but I, will, I want to challenge you to think big, okay? What is that big problem that we've got to solve? What makes sense for us to be not local leader or not regional leader, what is that area that we can be number one in the world in this area? You know, find that and then, then work together to accomplish that. So uh, uh, I can assure you that, the, uh, that once you have that, uh, you are not going to be alone. We're going to be working together. You'll have the, you'll have the best sport in the world at, that any, uh, any university provides. And so uh, you, are, you are the ones who have the idea, the talent. Uh, I used to at one time when I was in the trenches, but now I've gone to the dark side. So uh, um, I, 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 I'm really very excited about this, and thank you very, very much, uh, Jean, for uh, your uh, investment. Thank you, Joe, for uh, um, uh, uh, you know, making uh, this big move to call Nebraska home. Thank you for what you've already done. And uh, we want you to be a great dean, but we also want you to, to continue to push the boundary of research. Um, uh, uh, Shao is one of my, my uh, you know, I've got a lot of great uh, favorite faculty members. He's one of my favorite faculty members. So I can't kind of point tell you who the other ones are, because then we'll have a little problem. But, uh, but he ser seriously, um, you know, the, getting it on the covers of the journals and all that. So I'm very proud of you. So, the long, probably more longer comments than you wanted me to make, David, but I say thank you very much and enjoy the, um, the very much lecture again, Mark. I'm sorry I got to take off, but uh, so let's say uh, that um, I want to wish you the best in NC3 and uh, go Big Red. <laughs> Friend, thank you so much for those for those words and for your visionary leadership of the university's research mission. Now we turn to the leadership of the University of Nebraska Foundation, and we have the Assistant Vice President, Amber Anholtz, who will come to formally confer a medallion upon Dr. Jean Cordes for establishing and endowing the Cordes Chair. Prem referred to the dark side, normally that's how they refer to the foundation. <laughs> so if Prem's the dark side at the university, um, so sometimes they refer to us as that. Um, but I'm so pleased today to be able to be here with you and to represent the University of Nebraska Foundation um, to celebrate the inaugural awarding of this chair, the Elmer and Ruby Cordes Chair in Chemistry. Um, to Dean Joe Francisco. Um, this is especially special to me because I was around when um, Jean and Shirley uh, first came to the, the foundation to talk about this. And um, you know, certainly everyone has said thank you today and has acknowledged um, Jean's great career and his great work, and, and Joe, you also. And I will tell you if you need, if you're interested in bios on either of them, they'll be at the back of the room. Um, I'm not gonna focus on that. Um, today though, what I do wanna, just very briefly focus on is um, what we're celebrating today. Um, we are celebrating um, Jean and Shirley Cordes and, and Joe Francisco, and, and not just that they have chemistry in common, um, but probably the most important thing that they have in common is the fact that they really want to advance the university and believe in um, the people here and, and what that investment in the university will do in the future. Um, so I first want, you know, just to acknowledge, you know, 
David did too. Gene and Gene has has invested his time and his resources, his leadership for the Industrial Advisory Board in chemistry, but also um, for the college, um, for the college campaign committee, and, and in that capacity. Um, so so they've done that, and, and we're so appreciative. So we're, we're we're celebrating that desire today, but we're also celebrating. Um, Jean's parents today because this chair is is in is named in their honor and as I was looking back and thinking about Jean and Shirley coming back today um, to celebrate this chair I went back and I found Jean provided um, some really nice biographical information on his parents um, and, I, and I loved going through it and reading it there was three pages just on their history and their life together um, but what I want you to know today is something that, that he said at the very end that really sums up what we get to do and what we get to be part of. Um, he, he said, Gene said of his parents um, when they established the fund, my parents were good people, hardworking, capable, and honest. They cared deeply for their family, were committed to their church, and loyal to their state and its university. Shirley and I are delighted to honor their memory through the establishment of the Elmer H. Ike and Ruby M. Cordes chair in chemistry. And so if there's one thing that I hope um, you leave, at least from my comments today, is that um, this is so much about it advancing the university, but it also is, is about honoring a legacy. And a, a legacy that, that made Gene, um, likely I, my guess is he would say it made it him a big part of who, who he is today. Um, and his career. So this is one of the best parts of my job, is seeing all of this come together. And, and I'm glad all of you get to see it too. Um, so to be able to bring Jean together with Dean Francisco, um, both of who only want this university to do great things and, and for all of you here to do those things too. Um, I'm so pleased to get to finally present um, the medallion to Jean and um, to com commemorate the occasion and to celebrate with you and thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um. Well, in the uh, time I have left, um, three quick points. One is I want to thank uh, everybody for the kind comments, particularly Prim Paul. Uh, we had to beat on him from time to time in the advisory board, but he responded well and he has been a strong supporter of this department and major contributor to the university, so Prim, terrific. Uh, second point is just to say that once in a while the stars and the heavens get aligned properly and great things happen. And that great thing that's happened is that Joe Francisco has come to the University of Nebraska at Lincoln as a dean and as the Cordes professor. Uh, it could not have worked out better. Shirley and I are absolutely delighted. It's going to be a great, uh, great addition uh, to the campus, to the university, to the department. And the third point is that it's been a pleasure to be associated with the department. If you look at the quality of the department over time, the first derivative is positive, but more important is that the second derivative is also positive, so that the improvement in quality is accelerating over time. So that's, that's terrific. And now I have the pleasure of uh, providing Joe Francisco with some sort of token of his professorship. Joe? What can you say after all of that? Uh, well, first off, um, I just want to thank uh, Gene for uh, really incentivizing uh, the university and the department uh, in their time and his time and also his commitment to them in, in so, so many, many ways. I just want to let everybody know I am delighted to be here. I am delighted to be here. 
And uh, I also want to let all of you know we have a lot of hard work. Uh, Zhao? Yeah? Lou? Yeah? Okay. Uh, we, got a, we got a challenge. So Zhao, make sure you keep us uh, on, that, on that path, okay? I think we need to think about the third derivative, too, being positive, okay? Um, <clears throat> well, everybody, um, I'm going to uh, turn this now back over to Zhao, who's going to come up and introduce, or is David, are you going to introduce our speaker? I'll present the award. Oh, you're going to present the award. Okay, excellent. This is kind of cool, everybody. <laughs> this is really cool. Thank you. We're fortunate on this occasion to have a, a very well-known computational chemist and so one of the leaders in the world in the rational design of materials and in the understanding of electron dynamics, electron transport, and it, uh, also the dean, as I understand it, the dean of the college, uh, acting dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at Northwestern University, uh, Professor Mark Ratner, Dumas Professor. Uh, I'd like Professor Ratner to come up now and formally receive the inaugural NC3 Award for Excellence in Computational Chemistry. It's red. Yes, it's, it's, it's red and, and it, it has on here a molecular depiction of a new hydrogen storage vehicle. So this is meant to be symbolic of the NC3. This is perhaps the first research result to come out of the NC3 and represents a beautiful collaboration between Professor Xiaozeng and Professor Joe Francisco. And if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it from the back, but you have a single-walled nanotube here in gray, and then you have hydrogen, uh, which is hydrogen molecules in purple, which are being stored in a water matrix here. And so the, the red, of course, red is important there. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, uh, we have uh, quite a bit of oxygen, red oxygen in the water there. But uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful result. It was a Jack Spotlight feature recently, and it will adorn the NC3 plaque uh, for years to come. And this is the very first one. It reads uh, to Professor Mark A. Ratner for fundamental contributions in computational chemistry with translational implications for material science, particularly in the areas of electron transport and quantum and electron dynamics. Once again, congratulations.